Hey y'all, coming at you with a garden update. It is still, I would consider, early June. Today's June 8th, and everything is still trucking along very nicely in the garden. Today I'm going to be pulling out some lettuces for this week coming up to eat. So I've got some of my uh, le uh, head lettuce here that I'm going to be pulling out. I've also got some lettuce here that I'm going to, I'm going to be pulling out. These lettuces are still in the process of growing. I have a loose leaf rodinia over here that I'm going to be pulling out. And I've got some more chard. And let me show you around the rest of the garden. Starting over here, everything's looking great. I've got my Montezino cherries that are growing really nicely. These are determinates. And I've also got some Iron Lady tomatoes, which are doing really nicely. These are determinates. And over here, I've also got my Roma tomatoes, which are doing well. Moving on to my garden here, I've got my pepper plants, four of them that I topped, and they're growing a little bit slow because I've got some shade coming in off of my pea plants and my broccolini. But nonetheless, they're doing, they're doing really nicely. I've got my baby bam pumpkin, which I've been climbing up my bamboo trellis here. It's doing really, really well. And you can see on here, let me get the right angle, that I've got a baby bam pumpkin fruit that's popping out. And as soon as that flower opens, I should also have some male flowers that I can hand pollinate it with. So I'm very pleased with that. I've got nice looking basil that's gonna be ready to go soon. I've also got my cilantro which has grown very quickly. I'm very impressed with it. I've got two squares of that, which is just doing great. I've got my peas, which got completely decimated by aphids, but I sprayed them down with the organicide and it really helped a lot. It ended up wiping most of the aphids out. And while I'm gonna get some peas, I'm not gonna get quite the harvest that I was hoping for. So that's okay, lesson learned for the fall when I plant my fall fall peas I'll be a little bit more diligent with the aphids and I'll also make sure that I either spray them down with the water hose in advance or I spray them with the organicide I try not to spray any type of pesticides as much as possible but I just didn't have an option on this and I did salvage some of it the rest of it that was diseased and you can see down here this is dead foliage that also got diseased I just pulled it out and I replanted in my squares cucumbers you can see these these guys are starting to germinate and pop out now so i've got some cucumbers here i think i planted a cucumbers back over here which haven't germinated yet and then over here i've got another tomato plant which by the time it starts growing my potatoes here should be good to go if you remember from a previous video i had fingerling potatoes here and here and i harvested them last week I got a pound and a half off of two individual fingerling potatoes and they were delicious. So very, very positive outcome there. Broccolini still going, it's looking great. More chard, more broccolini. My parsnips are doing amazing. I pulled one out the other day just to see how it was developing and I had a parsnip about that long, so they still got a long ways to go. They're, they're a long grow crop, but they're doing just fine. And my chamomile, I'm getting more buds on the chamomile. You can see right here, these are going to be ready to harvest once those white flowers start to turn down. And then I'll save them and use them for teas or cooking or whatever we want to use them for. Here's my pepper plants that I topped. You can see how much additional foliage I got by topping them. I've got one here. I've got one here. One here. And then this is my cayenne. And you can see it's starting to grow out pretty wide from being topped. Another thing I'm going to be doing with these guys is as it's growing the first few buds, I'm just going to pull those. And what that'll do is that'll encourage growth. More growth on the foliage and more fruit production on the peppers okay let's move on over here I've got my lavender which I harvested a couple weeks ago I dried those out and stored them I've got more cilantro 
my carrots still growing still looking nice I've got some of them popping up through here you can see that's a purple carrot these are my Dolcevas they're all orange but they're looking really nice been happy I haven't had any carrot fly maggots so hopefully that'll continue until they're all ready to harvest more broccolini Brussels kind of slow but they're still coming along they're a long harvest crop and my watermelons making a little bit more progress not a ton but it should be starting to grow here as it warms up I've also got cabbage my other Caraflex cabbage and this Caraflex cabbage I harvested and put a video out on how I did that this one will be ready to go I'd say next week my beans my bush beans are looking great my kale's looking great my brandy wines are finally starting to set fruit which is great because they're delicious and they're also doing really well and then my bean cherry plant over here if you can see that or not but it is exploding let me walk around here and i'll show you what i got going on with the bean cherry okay the bean cherry is just absolutely exploding everywhere and i'm gonna have a great harvest off of that planting more basil my zucchinis I did a video on how to hand pollinate them but I've got zucchinis down here that are looking really nice should be harvesting some of those this week and my celery is also looking great so overall very successful hope this video has been informational for you let me know if you have any questions or comments below thanks for watching and please subscribe and like the video if you like what I'm doing have a good one